So for this data sufficiency question, I'm going to show you how to solve it without pen and paper, just by thinking. And then I'm also going to show you how you would solve it if it was a problem solving question, if you actually had to find the amount of time that R takes on its own. Uh, so we'll look at that as well. But I think we should start with just thinking about conceptually, how would one solve this? Or more importantly, what would one need in order to solve such a question? So we have these two machines, R and S, and we don't know how long each of them takes on its own to do the job. We don't know how long it takes them together. And the question just wants to know how long would it take R on its own? So let's start with statement two because statement two just tells us how long it would take the two machines together. And I can't infer from that how long it would take one of them on its own. I guess if we knew that the machines were identical, then I could say each machine on its own would take 24 minutes because if you have half the number of machines, it would take twice as long. But we don't know that they have identical rates, so statement two is not sufficient on its own, and we should go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So B and D are gone, and we're down to A, C, or E. Now statement one gives us the ratio of the two machines. It's implying that machine S is faster than machine R because machine S would only take three quarters as long as machine R to do a job. And you could take that one step further and say, therefore machine S is four thirds as fast as machine R because the ratio of their times has a reciprocal relationship with the ratio of their speeds. But since statement one doesn't give us any actual amounts of times, I mean, I don't even know if we're talking hours or minutes, let's go ahead and eliminate answer choice A. Now when we combine these statements, we know how long machine S takes on its own, and we also know the ratio of the speeds of the two machines. So yes, we could infer how long it would take machine R on its own, and therefore the correct answer is C. Now how we would actually get the answer, let's look at that right after the intro. So using the ratio from statement one, we could say that for the amount of time that it takes, you have S to R is three to four, but for the rates of the machines, it would be the opposite. So S to R is four to three, and we could say that together, how fast are they? If they were working together, it would be four plus three is seven. So seven ratio units represent the speed of the two machines together. Now statement two tells us how long it takes them together, and we want to know how long R takes on its own, but we can see from our ratio that R is three sevenths as fast as they are together, so using that same reciprocal relationship from earlier, that would mean that R takes seven thirds as long as they take together. So how long would it take R on its own? Seven thirds of 12 minutes, you can reduce the three with the 12 and you get seven times four is 28 minutes. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.